In this video, we're going to go over 2D arrays. I know most people struggle with 2D arrays, so hence why I'm making this video. So in the spec, it says like 2D arrays in terms of like a database. So here we model like a 2D array as like a database table. So we have the players and like the goals they score. This is the goal they score and this is a 2D array. The difference between a 1D array and a 2D array is that in a 1D array, we have array and for example we have one thing so a b c d but in a 2d array we have an array of arrays so imagine that's an array now that has a b c and these two are like an array and the last two are an array this is basically what a 2d array is and we can access everything the same way we did with a normal array. So for example, um, if we want to get the first index, we basically get array player. And if we do the first index, we should get the array that's the first one. And surely we do. This is like the, the main array. So if we want to get inside the array and dig deeper and get the first element, or the second one or the third one we basically need to pass in another square brackets so which will have the position that we want so for example if we want to get the name this is at position zero and one this is at position one and if we run that we should get Mohammed Salah and if we want the goals that he scored that would be at position zero one two three four at position four and surely we do get 15. So this is the basic idea of, of 2D arrays. We have to pass in two things, one for the array that we want, like the array of arrays, but the first array, and then the second one is like, well, at what position? We can think of it as like rows and columns. So the first one can be the row. So zero, one, two, this is the row, and the column is the fourth column. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, fourth column. Whatever makes sense for you, you can choose. But this is the way that I like to remember it. Well, which array array are we looking at? And the second one specifies the more in detail which array element we're looking at. So having said that, we can now apply our knowledge from what we did in the previous video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It goes through everything you need to know about Python for GCSE. So we can now use a for loop and imagine we want to iterate through everything and get everything. How would we do this? Well, for a normal array, we would use a for loop, like one for loop. Let's try that. So for i in range, and what's our range going to be? Well, it's going to be from zero to how many elements are in the array. So length array uh, players. So the length of array players is one, two, three, four, and five. The whole array, there's five arrays in the array. So now if we print um, array at players i, what should we get? Well, we should basically get these arrays printed out. And there we go, we got all the like arrays printed out but we're trying to get the individual um detail so we want one then followed by Holland, followed by man city and so on so to do that we need one loop that goes through like what we just did and another loop which will go through the individual elements how like how we did in the previous 1d array video so if we do for j the make sure the name is different it could be k it could be m anything but range which is going to go through whatever the length of this sub array is so length of array players at position i so when i is equal to zero that refers to the first array length which is one two three four five so this will go five times and it will print out 
um, the first one, well, we need to adjust this. And the way that we can adjust this is that this stays at i, and then we can maybe put j here as well. And if we do that, we should get all of the numbers of the players and stats. But we want to do more than just that. Well, I mean, what's this even going to help us to do? So let's further extend this and let's get a, let's do like a database search, but not really like that. But let's get the input from the user, uh, which basically says what um, team do they play for? And if we say Man City, what we want it to do is to add up all the goals scored for Man City. So you add up 18 and add up 11. So let's do that. So first and foremost, we have to get the input from the user, which everyone should know how to do. So let's say uh, club equals input and enter the club. Now, what would we want to do once we get the club? We want to, or oh well, find the array that corresponds to the club. So I don't, we don't need two loops because we don't really need to go that deep. But if we just have one loop and let's say if now array at players at position um, i, so the first one currently we're over here. Now, if this thing at position, so the index we're going to put here is going to correspond to the value at which it corresponds to. So zero is there, one and two. We just need to look at the second one. Yeah, because everything, every club name is on the second uh, uh, column. And we can set that, is that equal to the club that we put? If it is, if that's true, we're gonna basically find the corresponding um, value for the club, for the goal. So if players at position two is equal to the club, we can basically, maybe we need, we need a total. So let's just set that equal to zero. And we increment total by um, whatever the value is at here. So this is at position zero, one, two, three, four. This is at position four. So this is gonna stay the same. And instead of two, we're gonna have four. And remember, this is a string. And remember, arrays need to be the same type. That's why we had to put it into a string. But we can change this string into a integer because um, we need it to do some addition. And if that's true, we're going to add the total. And that is all we need to do. And we can get the total by just doing print total. So hopefully now if we run it, we it should work. So enter club, let's say Man City, and we get 29. Because what it does is that it goes to this uh, thing and it gets the corresponding goal. And then it just adds um, everything from fourth um, column. So 18 plus uh, 11, which is 29. Um, maybe now we want to print out like the name as well um, so we can basically make make this as fancy as possible so if you want to print out like Man City scored this many goals so we can say man uh, actually using concatenation you should know how to do this this is club is basically what we put so Man City scored plus um, goals or total plus um, goals this season or something like that and remember we need to cast it into a string from the previous video and now if we do it man city man city scored 29 goals oh it should be goals but anyways 
pretty much all you need to know for um, two DREs. Hopefully this video made sense and uh, comment down below um, whatever topic you want me to go through and I'll go through it.